got sent a letter. Dear Digital Rev, I love the whole Lomo effect, but I don't like the inconvenience of having to use film. Is there a digital camera that I can use to get Lomo effects? Well, this is the Olympus EPL2. Let me show you what it can do. This is the Olympus EPL2. It's got an array of art filters to create the effect that it was shot using one of those Lomo camera thingies. And then we have the LCA, the camera that started off the Lomography craze. And for some purists, it's the only true Lomo camera. And this camera comes included with a Majonju. Hi. Majonju is a Lomography expert, so we hung out with him for the day for a quick crash course in the art of Lomography and to find out if the EPL2 can replicate that Lomo style. So is the EPL2 the closest thing to a digital Lomo? We took two cameras out for some comparison shots. So I'm just going to follow you. Yours is a wide angle, isn't it? It's a, it's a wide angle, yeah. What's the first rule of Lomography? Take, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> take, take it anywhere you go or something like that. So that means even if you have a shit. No, because the last rule is there's no rules. So yeah. you can basically do whatever you want. Oh, no they're funny people, aren't they? Yeah, there's no rule to it. Just do whatever you want, anytime you want. Whatever Anything. You want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There's no right or wrong. Yeah. No okay. Right or wrong. With the EPL2, you get some gritty images, and you can get some contorted colours, severe vignetting, and wild contrast. In some ways, it's more Lomo esque than the Lomo LCA results itself. Oh, damn buses! What are they doing? They're protesting. Get the entire stair now. Oh. oh! But it wasn't enough to merely just find out if I could get the same effect. Oh. I wanted to use it just like a lomographer would use it. Yeah, so. whatever captures you. Well, actually, yeah, pre. They tell you not to think, but I actually think you should think before you shoot something. Like, pre. Focus it. Pre. Yeah. Ready it? So think, pre-frame it. Think, but not too much. Yeah, fast. Bang! Bang! Got you. There you go. <laughs> you learn it. Yeah. <laughs> Look over there! Bang! There's something raw and random yeah. about shooting from the hip or whatever bodily joint. It proves to be quite exhilarating. Oh. It gives you a sense of freedom, a lack of control in a controlled way. Kind of like in the snow while jumping on a trampoline. That's another rule, isn't it? Get up as close as possible yeah. or something like that. Let's shoot somebody point blank in the face. Yeah. Let's choose let's choose that bald guy with the Yeah. See the... see which one he hits first. You or me. Alright. <laughs> oh you mean the, the the bald guy, yeah yeah that one with the Oh the you're kidding me. Glasses. Yeah. It looks pretty it's tough. I'll just... Just like that. Did you get it? Yeah, I just went like that. <laughs> but I don't know if I got him. I don't know if I got him as well. I got half his face. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That's alright. That's... That's not a dog, that's a bear. That's a bear crawling. Oh. You want me to do that as well? <laughs> One of the Lomo rules is to get as close as possible and well, Majonju certainly got up close and personal with the bear.
All right, so let's do the shoot from the hip thing. All right. But let's do rodeo style. So we have to do oh, this. Yeah. That's not that's not rodeo. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So like that. Bang. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> Hopefully they won't cross until it's green. Then we'll do the yee-haw. Let's do it. Right, ready? There we go, here we go. Action. Yee-haw! That's the wrong thing, sorry! I got you! Why? <laughs> That's no good. I'm out of film. Uh, Wait, I'll see if I might have one more. Yeah, one I might have one more. This, uh... Oh, this, this guy then. Yeehaw! <laughs> I might not have gotten it. So. That's alright. Did you get it? I got you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, we can get it developed. Let's get it developed. Obviously, I don't need to develop. Uh, I'll just have a coffee. So we dropped off the film to develop and we waited in a coffee shop for 24 hours and then the results finally came. Okay, here's Kai's shot and this is mine. So there's a kid falling asleep on the school bus. On the school bus, yeah. As you can see, mine is a, uh, a little blur because obviously it's got a low, uh, slow shutter speed. The yeah. vignetting and, and the the saturation on that is crazy. Yeah. Well, on some photos it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you some. I'll sh like this one's taken with the EPL2. Is it yeah. EPL2? Yeah, EPL2. This is taken with the EPL2, and this is taken with the LCA on uh, an Agfa Ultra Color film, expired. But when you look at it, the the LCA doesn't vignette as much as the, the toy camera filter. Yeah, it. exactly. Colors are uh, uh, surprisingly a lot more saturated than the, the LCA one. Well, the digital files are just almost too clean, aren't they? Yeah. It's uh, just too clinical. Sometimes too clean. And, uh, too detailed, I guess. Well, it's just a good side to it. If you're working on detail, then obviously digital is better. And uh, film is more like a art kind of thing, artsy kind of thing. Now that's way too oversaturated, the digital. Yeah. It's just more than what you'd expect from the LCA. Getting the effect is one thing, but shooting lomography style is certainly another. To answer the original question, yes, you can get a lomo-ish effect with digital. But after shooting for a day with Majonju, one realised that it's not just about the effect. It's about the complete package. It's all the raw process of shooting. Not being confined to conventions of what traditionally makes a good photo. And using film is all part of that. It's part of the charm and the surprise when you get it developed. There's still a lot of fun to be had with film still, while digital offers up a lot of convenience and flexibility. But trying to do Lomo with digital defeats the whole object of doing Lomography in the first place. After all, you can't own a dog and not enjoy taking it out for walks. <laughs>